Hi, this is Morris Malpas. Watch my latest update on Hibernian TV. Morris, you've thawed out after the morning training session on Thursday. How do you feel the preparation work's gone so far this week? Yeah, we've had a good week this week. You know, I think there are a lot of positives from Saturday and we've uh, worked on one or two things uh, in relation to the game uh, this Saturday. Uh, the players will be nice and bright. Uh, it was a bit chilly this morning, but one or two had to run about a bit more. But yeah, I'm delighted they have uh, applied themselves again this week. How do you feel you've settled in to your role here as assistant manager following your move down from Inverness? Yeah, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, I think after the first two or three days, it's as if I would never been away from here. Uh, I get on well with the players, the players work hard, and I think that's the biggest, the biggest plus for us. Uh, the players are prepared to work hard, they're desperate to work hard, and they do work hard. Um, and it's just us trying to impart some knowledge at, or information that we want to play. Um, and keep on, you know, driving it into them. But so far, thoroughly enjoyed it. I say it feels as though I've been here for a long, long time. How would you measure the progress that's been made so far? And also, the obviously the new management team have implemented a change in style. How much do you feel the players have, have bought into that and made that a reality? Well, I think if you look over the games we've played, the, the players have bought into it big time. You know, we're only two or three days before the, uh, our first game against uh, St Mirren. And it's amazing how much the players did take in and want to take in and you know, they applied themselves on the match day, which is the most important thing. It's how they perform on a match day. And during the week it's up to us to get as much information in, into them as we can in terms of how we want them to play. Um, but we you know, right from the outset we've decided this is how we want to play. We think it's the best for the team, it's the best for the players we've got at the moment. Uh, and every game we've been We've been pleased in terms of how they've applied themselves and we've taken a lot of positives out of every game. Obviously, there's bits we want to you know, improve dramatically, but we've got to take our time. It doesn't, it's not, nothing's easy in football, yeah, but we're really pleased how the players have, uh, you know, have adapted. Really pleased that you know, they've shown an appetite to try and change. Um, and it's just a case of continuing that now, getting a bit better every week. Um, getting a little bit more belief in terms of you know, in front of goals. There were a few shots last week against Celtic, they're still looking for them. Um, but that's that's something we'll, we'll keep on working on. Do you feel you've had to work to up the energy levels because of the, the new style that we want to play, the more direct approach? Do you feel that the players needed to be a wee bit fitter in order to, to make that uh, happen and work? Well, if you asked me that the first week, I'd have probably said yes. Um, but since we've, we've gotten amongst the players, the fitness is fine. Um, you know, as I say, they've got a determination, a desire to go and play a higher tempo. Um, we're asking them to pass the ball quicker. Um, we're hoping to get up the team quicker as a up the park quicker as a team. We're not asking them to shell the ball at the park. Uh, and so far, you know, the fitness hasn't been a problem at all. They've, and most of that comes from the desire to want to do what we're asking. The first, the first few days, I, I thought there may have been a problem with the fitness, but uh, that's been pie in the sky. Terry's obviously been handed a, a one-match ban. He won't be in the dugout on Saturday, so you will be obviously in charge of the team for that. It's not uncharted territory for yourself because you actually masterminded our last home defeat at Easter Road uh, during your final game associated with Inverness. How much are you looking forward to it? I always look forward to the games. I think uh, Easter Road is a magnificent stadium to play in. You know, 10, 11, 12,000, uh, fantastic support from the fans. Um, it's, a great, it's a great buzz about the place. And I, I would be inspired to play well there, you know. Um, and Saturday, it'll be strange on Saturday because that's two games that I've been sort of on my own, on different dugouts. Uh, and normally it's, yeah, I get one game on my own and Terry has a wee visit to the stand. Uh, but. Well, there's times during the season when Terry goes and sits in the stand to watch the game, so it's nothing new. Um, we'll be communicating some way, um, and I'll just go on with the game. You know, it's I say I really enjoy games. I get to I probably get too engrossing games at times. I get carried away. I get wound up, um, and they just seem to fly in. But uh, looking forward to the game. It's a tremendous game to play. Uh, the players look as though uh, they're 
they're looking forward to it and I think they should look forward to it. As I say, Easter Road's a great place to play. Uh, we should be looking forward to play there and get the backing off the crowd. It's our job to get the crowd off their seats and uh, cheering us. Um, and I'm sure they'll do that if you know if we if we play we played or create the chances we created against Partick Thistle and hopefully we scored long before the 93rd minute.